Hello, my name is Wes Fang. I'm an ADF architect at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center. And in this video tutorial series, I'm going to demonstrate how to deploy ADF Essentials onto Amazon EC2. Uh, before we begin, I just want to give a overview of the different parts that we're going to be going through. Now, this is going to be a five-part video series. The first part, we're going to go over uh, creating and launching a EC2 instance. And then in part two, we're going to install the necessary tools um, on your local PC. Uh, Jade developer 12, obviously, we're going to need that for creating our application deploying. Uh, Sigwin X server. Now, this is what we're going to use uh, for our visual glass fish install. We're going to need to tunnel the graphics all over. That's why we installed that tool. FileZilla. Um, this is just to actually just uh, transfer, uh, I believe, um, the MySQL connector later on, as there is no direct way of uh, getting it using that we get on the remote server. Uh, obviously, Putty, because we need to paste into the uh, remote server. And then also, I'm going to show you guys how to configure the private key for both Putty and FileZilla in order to um, SSH and secure file transfer. In part three of this video, we are going to install the um, remote software. So this is going to be um, installed on the EC2 instance. So Xbox is required for um, the graphics tunneling. We're going to be also installing JDK 7, update 45, Glass Fish 3, uh, ADF Essentials, MySQL 5.5. And finally, we are going to configure a JNDI data source. In part four of this tutorial, we are going to set up JBall for create the application server connections, the database connections, build a very simple application. In the last part, we are going to deploy our um, application. This is part one of the video tutorial series. We're going to uh, create a EC2 um, Linux instance. Once you've signed up for the free tier, um, you can go ahead and go to aws.amazon.com and we're going to start creating our Linux instance. Click on the management console and login. Click on the EC2 link and go ahead and click on launch instance. So these are all the images that Amazon provide you to start your creation. We're going to check the free tier only. I am going to use the Amazon Linux AMI 32 bit version. Click next. Click next and launch. We're going to select create a new two pair. And I'm going to call this uh, ADF. Download. And we're going to save that and use it later. Click launch and so it'll take um, a minute or two to create. This is the prior one that I created. Um, I'm terminating it as the free tier will only allow one micro instance to be available at any time. I forgot to give it a name um, when I wanted to create the instance, so I can give it now. We're going to call it ADF EC2. 